welcome to this video this is lecture number 22 and we already covered up 21 lecture regarding the solving the supplementary problem of the vector analysis book by mr spiegel book you know this book is very important for the physics honors as well as for mathematics honors and this is an important book for iit jam preparation also that's why you decide to solve the supplementary problem of this book we already covered up the previous lecture uh, you can see in the description box total link will be provided and you can go to the youtube channel of my youtube channel you can <laughs> see the total lecture of uh, of this series okay so, uh, and this in this video you want to solve the problem number supplementary problem number 4.56 to 4.61 of the chapter 4 which is considered a gradient divergence and call go to the question directly first question 4.56 says that suppose a vector equal to given that so that da equal to this so let's start uh, a vector equal to a so this so we can write d a vector is nothing but del a vector by del x into dx plus del a vector by del y into dy since this is a function of x y z so we can write as the d a vector equal to like that and the del del x a vector equal to given as a 1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap into dx similarly del del y into a vector equal to a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap dot dy plus del del z of a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap dz okay if you want to uh, take the common of the i cap so you can you can see this is a del a1 del x uh, and dx similarly here you can get del a1 del y dy and similarly from here you get del a1 del z dz that into i cap in case of j cap you also get the del a2 del x plus del a2 del y oh sorry that into dx plus del a2 del y that into dy plus del a3 del z that into dz j cap and k cap also you get taking the k cap constant so del l3 del x dx plus del a3 del y dy plus del l3 del z digit k cap and this is nothing but this can be written as the uh, divergence of a1 dot dr vector why why we can write this because divergence of a1 equals to i cap del a1 del x plus j cap del a1 del y plus k cap del a z sorry del a1 a z into dr dr dot money i cap dx plus j cap dy plus k cap dz so if you dot product these two you will get this expression so we can say uh, this is the bracket so we can say this is nothing but the divergence of a1 vector sorry a1 this is the divergence of a1 dot dr vector into i cap plus next term will be divergence of a2 dot dr into j cap and divergence of a3 dot dr into k cap this will be the solution of this question go to the next question this question says that divergence of f by z equals to this prove that so divergence of f by g so you can say this is nothing but i cap del del x of f by z similarly j cap del del y of f by z plus k cap del del z of f by z okay so if we derivative of this you can say this is g square del f by del x into g minus 
f into del g by del x similarly this term can be written as g square this is del f by del y into z minus f into del z by del y plus k cap g square this is the del f by del z into z z minus f into del z by del z into okay so if we take the common from g of the first three terms so you get i cap del 1 by z square taken as common so i cap you take the g common so you get i cap del f del x plus j cap del f del y plus k cap del f del z and take uh, minus <laughs> take f as a constant you get i cap del g del x plus j cap del g del y plus k cap del g del z so 1 by g square this is nothing but g grad of f minus f grad of g hence the right hand side is proved go to the next question find the unit vector to be uh, perpendicular to the surface of parabola equation of this so we can take this phi is nothing but x square plus y square minus z so find out the grad phi grad phi is nothing but i cap del phi del x plus j cap del phi del y plus k cap del phi del z so what is the value of this del phi del x is 2x so this can be written as 2x i cap del phi del y is nothing but 2y so this was a 2y z cap and del phi del z is minus 1 so this will be minus k cap so what is the value of uh, grad phi at this point this point is 1 2 5 so if you put 1 to 5 this 2 into 1 is 2 i cap 2 into 2 is 4 z cap and this is k cap and what is the magnitude of this 1 to 5 if we take the magnitude so this is nothing but 2 square 4 6, 4 square 16 this is 1 so this is 21 so the unit vector is nothing but the unit normal vector is nothing but the grad phi at that point and modulus of grad phi at that point at 1 2 5 which is nothing but 2 i cap plus 4 j cap minus k cap divided by root 21 this is the unit vector that perpendicular to the surface of this parabola okay unit unit normal vector unit normal vector you know this significance of the gradient okay go to the next question find out the unit outward drawn of this surface here actually the same question so the phi can be written as uh, in the previous question there is a mixture this root can be taken as this root can be taken as plus minus so the answer will be there will be plus minus okay and in this uh, this question is similar the phi is written as x minus 1 whole square plus y square plus z plus 2 whole square minus 9 so what is the value of grad phi grad phi is i cap del del x so this will be 2 x minus 1 i cap this will be 2 y j cap and this will be 2z plus 2k cap this is the gradient of phi and what is the value of gradient of phi that point this is 3 1 minus 4 if we put the value is 3 3 minus 1 2 2 into 4 if it is value 1 so this is 2j cap if z is minus 2 this is minus 2 this is minus 4k cap so what is the magnitude of this value 3 1 minus 4 so this is nothing but the 4 square 16 2 square 4 4 square 16 this is uh, 20 36 this is 6 plus minus 6 obviously there is this is the plus minus 6 so the unit normal vector is nothing but gradient of phi by gradient of phi modulus okay so this is 1 by 6 plus minus 1 by 6 bracket 4 i cap plus 2 j cap minus 4 k cap 2 is common and the, this will be cancelled out so we can say this is 1 by 3 2 i cap plus j cap minus 2 k cap clear go to the next question 
find the equation for the tangent plane the previous one was the normal this is the tangent plane of the surface so take phi is nothing but the x z square um, plus x square y minus z plus 1 so what is the value of grad phi gradient of phi is if we take the uh, i cap del del x so i cap del phi del x plus j cap del phi del y plus k cap del phi del z so this will be i cap del phi del x what is the value of del phi del x this is z square and here you get 2xy okay similarly j cap if we partial derivative with respect to y this will be x square in respect to z you get 2 2xz and there is minus 1 and the value at, at this point this is 1 minus 3 2 this will be uh, z square is 4 and this is 2 into 1 minus 3 minus 6 plus 4 that is plus minus 6 plus 4 that is minus 2 right this is minus 2 i cap x square is 1 square that is j cap and 2x and z z is 2 to the 4 4 minus 1 3 this will be 3 k cap the magnitude of this okay the magnitude is non equal this is the this is the perpendicular vector perpendicular vector perpendicular vector so part, part uh, uh, the equation of the perpendicular of this vector equation of the perpendicular of this vector is the uh, tangent of this plane tangent plane so perpendicular of this vector can be written as 2x plus y plus 3z equals to some constant equation of plane perpendicular to the above vector above vector so we can find out this constant using this point because this plane is consists this point so if we put this point that is 2 into 1 plus minus 3 plus 3 into z equals to 2 so to 6 minus 3 that is 3 minus 2 that is 1 so c is nothing but 1 so we can say the uh, equation of this plane is minus 2x plus y plus 3z equals to 1 this is the equation as a tangent plane equation equation of tangent plane equation of tangent plane equation of tangent plane okay go to the next question 4.61 says the find the equation for the tangent plane and the normal line to the surface z equals to x square plus y square so at first we need to find out the tangent plane for tangent plane we take the phi equals to x square plus y square minus z what is the value of grad phi grad phi is 2xi cap plus 2yj cap minus k cap and the value at this point 2 minus 1 5 so you can say this is 4 i cap minus 1 this is minus 2 j cap minus k cap this is the uh, of, uh, perpendicular vector okay perpendicular vector on the normal vector so the nor, uh, uh, normal of this vector equation of normal this is 4x minus 2y minus z will be some constant normal or tangent plane uh, equation of equation of tangent plane okay tangent plane so we can find out the value of c using this uh, point so 4 into 2 that is 4 into 2 minus 2 into minus 1 minus z is 5 so c is nothing but 2 uh, 8 plus 2 is 10 minus 5 that is 5 so the so equation of tangent plane tangent plane equation of tangent plane is written as 4x minus 2y minus z equals to c which is 5 and the normal line to the surface normal line to the surface normal line to the surface is written as normal line to the surface can be written as this this point is so at this point x minus 2 by that this is 4 equals to y minus or minus 1 equal y minus 2 and this is z minus 5 by this is minus 1 okay 
this can be if we take t so x can be written as 4x plus 2 y can be written as minus 2 t minus 1 z can be written as minus t plus 5 so this is the solution of this question thank you this is all about me and this is my contact details you can contact with me by whatsapp or telegram channel by for any query regarding physics and this is my youtube channel details go to this youtube channel you got the all those video <laughs> uploaded by me and please subscribe this channel if you new in the uh, channel and share this video to your friend thank you take care of you we will meet in the next video as soon as possible